Timu. It's time for another Timu haul. A once little known Chinese app. Look what came in the mail! That has become ultra popular in just a matter of months. I'm gonna need y'all to stop ordering Timu by selling the most random items. Apparently I bought a bubble gun. For dirt cheap. All this stuff is $4. Its goal? Infiltrate the American consumer. Now I have $200 worth of stuff from China. So let's see what I got. It's poured millions into Super Bowl ads. Download the Timu app and shop like a billionaire. And gamified shopping with a literal wheel of fortune. It's meteoric rise, now threatening retail giants, including Amazon. It's a threat to everyone, including Amazon. Which, in contrast, has barely updated its website in a decade. Now to big news for local malls, an announcement from Macy's that's changing retail. The department store chain is planning to close 150 low-performing stores over the next few years. Family Dollar says it will close 1,000 stores. The timetable for that, it will close 600 locations the first half of this year and 370 stores over the next several years. <laughs> So guys, I think Temu slash Pindundu is going to bury Amazon unless the US regulator intervene, such as what they did for TikTok, because this battle is literally a battle of a witch, which is Amazon, obviously, and then the devil itself, which is Pindundu, because this company is crazy. I've never seen anything like this. And while doing this research, I learned so many things. And to put it really simple, this company reinvented how you run a company. They reinvented finance. They reinvented every single thing. This is crazy. I don't know what you think about it there. This company is very shady, but <laughs> they are at the same time, they are beating not only the e-commerce space in the US, like Amazon, eBay, Etsy, but they are also beating all the retail stores as well. Exactly. So just throw in few figures there. You know, in the past year, they've managed to gain 51 million active users and the same amount took Amazon 10 years to gain, which is crazy. And they've done this just by spending a lot of money on advertising. So basically, they've spent $1.3 billion on advertisement last year. And this year, they are planning to double that. And they've spent so much money on advertisement that for the other companies that are in e-commerce, the cost of acquisition of a customer is way too high for them. Companies can't follow. Shin, the other retailer from China, is basically out of money and they don't know how to follow. This is crazy. And it's not just Shin, which is also a Chinese company, which is competing with uh, clothing brands here in the US. But it's also people who sell on Amazon. You have to remember that Amazon, for the most part, doesn't buy its own product, doesn't create these products. It's sellers, independent sellers on Amazon that are selling these goods. And they are being crushed right now by Timu because one, they have to pay for ads. But because Timu is driving up the cost of ads, it's becoming very difficult for them. And on top of that, Timu is taking advantage of some of the tax loopholes that exists here in the US. An example is that in the US, whenever a good that is coming to the US from China is under $800, the sender of the good doesn't have to pay any taxes and they don't have to pay any custom duties on the product. While when you look at FBAs and Amazon sellers, they order a big quantity of products and they have to pay taxes and custom duties. Timu is really, really, really cornering and taking advantage of any loophole that exists. This company is crazy, man. In this case, normally when something is happening in an industry like this, what I would say is that this benefits the customer, right? But this one doesn't. In the long term, it doesn't because let me just list you some of the shady things that they do. This company, right, does everything to cut costs. Every single thing that they do is to cut costs. Their employees work in unthinkable conditions. In Shanghai, right, they have a floor of 1,000 employees and eight toilets for those 1,000 employees. That's crazy. <laughs> and their employees, some of them work up to 20 hours per day. And the demand to, you know, get a job in like software engineering in China is so high. There are a lot of people that want to come in. 
And also the depression rate is so high among their employees. Some of them, you know, even commit suicide is crazy. Employees, right? Don't use their names in the company. Wow. You have to address your colleague using a, a fake name. So basically, uh, AKAs, right? In, in, like, <laughs> in like the rap game, right? <laughs> and data privacy is not a vocabulary for this company. They yeah. don't care about data privacy. They set up a team of 100 software engineers to analyze Android policies and the loopholes around Android. And thanks to that, they managed to corner Android and all the Android users of their app, they are able to download your data, basically everything, not just the location and the login information. They will get everything. They are even able to change settings on your phone. This is crazy. <laughs> they even prevent you from uninstalling the app. Think about that. Oh, An app that prevents you from uninstalling it. <laughs> it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, it is, crazy. And it, is, it is crazy. Timu just makes TikTok look like a saint in this. They are really crazy. And they are willing to lose a lot of money to make their way into the West. And their Pindudu in China, which is the main company, they are generating like $25 billion of cash flow every single year. And they are just using this to enter the UK market. And also I was talking before about the way this company is reinventing business in general and then finance. At this point in time, nobody knows how big this company is. It is crazy for a public company. A public yeah. company, right? We see the figures, we see the revenues on if you go to Yahoo Finance, but nobody really trusts it and nobody really knows. If you ask some analysts, they will say, okay, the company is maybe bigger than Amazon. Some will say the company is as big as the Italian economy, but this company doesn't say anything. Usually you yeah. go to like earning calls, right? Where the CEO will speak about what's going to happen and etc. about the strategy of the company. They're... CEO doesn't give any information to, you know, the analysts. Earning yeah. calls, zero information. Zero. It's they don't have any CFO, by the way. This company hasn't had any CFO since 2018. And before this, I went to the SEC website just to see if they file any 10Q or 10K. Nothing. No. They don't file anything. I don't know SEC. how SEC is allowing this to happen. And when Elon tweets, they go after him. <laughs> I don't understand. Seriously. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling and, you. And on top of that, this company is today valued at 158 billion. Think about that. 158 billion is very, at a certain point, it was even worth more than Alibaba, the giant of China, the biggest e-commerce retailer in the world, basically. And in a couple of years, Pinduoduo was able to overtake them and then start making it ways in the Western market. I mean, you just mentioned Alibaba there, right? That yeah. they overtook Alibaba. But this company says they have 13,000 employees. Alibaba has 240,000 employees. And Amazon has 1.5 million employees. And this company is making a similar revenue to the companies that I just gave the name of, which is crazy. How are they doing it? It's impossible. And also, right, nobody really knows the headquarters of this company, a public right. company. Right. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> The crazy thing is that there was, if anybody remembers, I think back in 2021 or 2020, when the stock market was booming, there was this company named Lockin Coffee. And it was just like the Starbucks of China. And they came to the U.S. market. They were listed on the stock market here in the U.S. And people were buying the stock. They thought this company was going to disrupt Starbucks. And they were giving fake numbers, basically. And maybe like a year into it, that company crashed and was delisted. I don't know if that's gonna, going to happen to Timu, but there is a company here in the US called Dollar Tree, which owns a lot of retail stores that sells cheap items, just like Timu itself. They've decided to close down about thousand stores. The name of the company is Dollar Tree. And they, before that, they bought another brand, a similar brand called Family Dollar. But due to low revenue, they are going to close 1,000 stores. Think about that. And you think Timu doesn't have anything to do with that? Timu is crazy. I just want to continue the list of crazy things that I learned <laughs> in this company. And they are crazy. I was talking about the headquarters before. The owner uh, or the founder of Timu, this guy is well known for using this practice called white glove in China. So he's basically using the name of someone else 
as the founder or the owner of the company. Before Timu went or Pindudu went public in 2018, this company was 90% owned by a lady. That's like an old Chinese retired lady that didn't know anything about the company. This is so shady. <laughs> he has like crazy addresses where you will go there. Like journalists will go there and then try to go to the business address and whatever. But an old lady will open and this lady doesn't know anything about the company. Crazy stuff. And in their pin to the report as well, they don't mention Timu in any of their financial reports. Timu is like inexistent, as you said before, right. regarding their the 10K and the 10Q. So this whole thing for me is very crazy. And there is no strong regulation. I mean, in China, you have the CCP, uh, the CPP. Communist Party. Exactly. You have the Chinese Communist Party that usually owns some share in all the big companies. And they are not saying anything about this. And if they are not saying anything, and then this company is using all these tactics to gain market share and then compete with Amazon, Amazon can't do anything. There is nothing Amazon can do to beat this company. Nothing. So if it continues like this, Pindudu will just bury Amazon for, you know, for fun. And the US regulators have to do something about it. Uh, China is really dominating the whole supply chain right now. And due to inflation in the US as well, you will remember about a month ago, the Secretary of Treasury, Janet Yellen, was giving a warning to China and telling them they should not dump their over supplies on the world market. The reason why they were saying that is because if China does that, basically it's going to cause deflation all over the world and especially here in the U.S., which is going to really affect the economy. But it's happening, even though they say it is happening. You look at electric cars and you look at e-commerce and those um, items that we buy for everyday use, Timu and basically all the Chinese electric car manufacturers are just crushing all the U.S. companies. That's totally true. I mean, we've said a lot of bad things about Timu, but they are genius as well. Their business model is very good. And a lot of people covered that already on, you know, how they cut the middleman and allow basically allow the producers or the manufacturers in China to be directly in contact with the consumers. So there is no ads and etc. Cetera, et cetera. So we are not going to dive into that too much, but their app experience is really good. They really understood how the human mind works and they gamified their app. They made it very, very addictive. And their goal is really to improve engagement and just keep you on the app and make you buy things that you don't need. So what genius. does that remind you of? What other Chinese app works just like that? TikTok. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> I think on TikTok, they have something called TikTok market or something. They have a shopping experience as well, where people can sell goods on TikTok uh, while doing their live stream and stuff like that. The CCP has really learn how to get the Western market and dominate it. I mean, as I said many times throughout, US regulators, you have to do something or Amazon is going to be, is going to be by the child. <laughs> <laughs> and Amazon have been trying to fight back as well. They have lowered some of their fees on some of their sellers, especially sellers that sell clothing items. But I don't know if that's going to do any good because this is not, the competition is not just coming from Timu. It's also coming from Shein, which also employ the same methods. They allow manufacturers to directly sell to customers. There is no middleman. And Amazon, I think, has to find a way to do that as well. If not, their e-commerce business is going to suffer a lot. I mean, I agree with everything you said. Don't have anything to add to this. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, comment. We really, really, really want you to subscribe because we see that a lot of people, 95% of you are watching the video and not subscribing. Please subscribe and comment under the video and share as well.